Close your eyes. Try to notice where you feel the breath right now. And then thoughts of goodwill. Thoughts of goodwill for yourself, goodwill for others. Goodwill means a wish for true happiness. True happiness is something that lasts a long time. And it's not just going to come because you wish it for yourself or wish it for others. It has to be a, a thought that you act on for it to happen. As little pleasures come and go. But if you want for something to last, you have to make it last. You have to give it a good foundation. This is why we practice generosity, why we try to be virtuous. In other words, we avoid doing harm. And why we train our minds, because these are the things that lead to a happiness that lasts. A sense of well-being that goes deep into the mind. And it is not disturbed by things outside. If your happiness depends on things outside, then the least little change outside is going to disturb the mind. But if your happiness is based inside, and then doing skillful things, on the one hand you don't have to be concerned about things outside changing. It's like the weather on the other side of the world. The fact that your happiness doesn't depend on the weather on the other side of the world means that you're not affected by it. What you want to do is train your mind so that even things that are really close up don't have that effect on the mind. That means you need an independent source of happiness inside. And you're basically wishing that other people can find that too. If everybody could find happiness inside, we'd get along a lot better than we do now. It's because one person wants something out of another person that we start fighting. We demand that you know somebody else provide our happiness for us, and when then they don't do it, then there's a problem. At the same time, they're probably demanding that we provide their happiness for them. So there's bound to be conflict. It's when you can decide for yourself, I want to make my happiness something that depends on good qualities I develop inside the mind. Then you can start pulling out of the conflict. You can't stop other people from having conflict with one another, and you can't stop other people from making demands on you. But as long as you have this independent source of happiness inside, the things that happen outside don't hit you quite so hard. Now we can live in this world and not suffer from being in this world. You can find happiness here. Happiness that radiates out of your own mind. So when you think in this way, you realize why it's important to meditate every day. Give the mind a chance to be itself, with itself, without taking on any outside responsibilities for that amount of time. So you can really get to know your mind. And as you get to know your mind, you get to train the mind. When the mind is trained, then it can be a, a generator of its own happiness. So when you think thoughts of goodwill, that'll bring it back to the breath. Use the breath as your anchor right here. Use a comfortable breath as your anchor right here. And you find it gets a lot and a lot easier to train the mind. So it does become something you can depend on and provides the kind of long-term happiness that you want.